Well, back for its fourth year, the 10 for All Festival from the Grand Rapids Civic Theater will present 10-minute plays written by West Michigan playwrights. Yeah, and after that judging process, one finalist's work in each of the categories will be fully produced, staged, and performed. It's a cacophony of creativity. You don't want to miss this. Josh is from the Civic Theater. He's joining us this morning along with one of this year's finalists. Jesse, you can tell us more all about it. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being here. Thank Good you. Good morning. All right, Jesse and Josh. Let's talk a little bit first, Josh, about the contest itself. How long it's been going on? What's entailed? Yeah, absolutely. This is our fourth year um, doing 10 for All. It's really exciting. We have people from all over the um, West Michigan and beyond community uh, submit plays to um, be adjudicated by professionals. Um, there's there's some limits on it, you know, five actors, minimal set and design, but the goal is to get these new playwrights and their new works off the ground and, and on stage for the first time so they can see their work um, on stage in front of them with other people. It's super rewarding, obviously. And Jesse is not only a playwright, but he was a director for one of the 10 minute plays a couple of years ago as well. So this is not his uh, his first time around. <laughs> okay, yeah. awesome. So so you are one of the finalists who will be pre presenting your play on stage. Yes, that's right. Let's talk about what it's like for you to number one, have yours chosen, and then to be able to, to see it come to life. What's that like? Yeah, it's a really special experience. I have quite a bit of experience as an actor and director, quite a bit actually at Grand Rapids Civic Theater. As Josh mentioned, I actually directed one of the finalist plays a couple of years ago. Um, and I'm a bit newer to playwriting, um, so it is a, a really a special experience to write something and then collaborate with another director and actors and see it come to life, and sometimes in ways that you don't anticipate <laughs> or expect. True. Maybe they, they find things in, the, in your words that you weren't even yeah, seeing and, right. and it's and, and that's what's so great about theater it's a collaborative art and and the sum is greater than the parts put together absolutely yeah that's true when it comes to the productions there's the theme this year is that is that true is that we're doing a theme yeah yeah a little bit we uh, we are incorporating um college students and um uh, grand rapids community college into um, the program by having a college category specifically. Um, okay, okay. All the entries are from students who are currently enrolled in a college program and Grand Rapids Community uh, um, College is hosting the event at Spectrum Theater, oh. which is a great intimate space for this uh, kind of event for these smaller shows and um, tickets are available. I can't even imagine now. how cool it must be to to write something and actually have it Produced yeah. and directed and actually see your work right there. It's got to feel so cool. Absolutely. And just talk about your experiences and how it lent itself to playwriting. Because obviously if you're acting, you're directing, you're doing all the things, that's kind of a logical next step. Um, and talk about the process. Yeah. And, your, well, and what your story's about, too. Sure. Well, yeah. I've, I've always been a consumer of stories, reading books, watching movies, you know, participating in, in theater. And so... Uh, I, uh, when I when I write, I usually start with some sort of simple idea, whether that's an image, a phrase, maybe um, a goal that someone would have, or a conflict that might exist between two characters. And, and in this case, my play is entitled Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Banana. <laughs> and uh, the, the initial uh, idea was this image of a banana in a particular circumstance that you'll have to learn about if you come to see the play. Sure. And then I just worked backward from there to figure out what uh, scenario could lead to this circumstance. Um, and what I came to is the, the play has two characters named Linda and Arnie, and they used to be in a relationship, and the play starts when they are seeing each other for the first time two months after their relationship ended. So we're learning about what ended, uh, led to the end of their relationship and how they're dealing with that. And then it does go in some unexpected directions. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Relationship hindsight is always yeah. a good start. Yeah. You know? All in 10 minutes. <laughs> right? yeah. I know, I'm like, how is that even possible? I mean, you mentioned that you're directing, so so people who are in these categories, the, each each category's finalist is gonna, who's gonna stage manage? Who's gonna direct? Who's Who are the actors? Yeah, that's a great question, um, because we have a lot of new and up and coming production team members do these events you know it's not a huge two and a half hour musical they can dip their toes in a 10 minute play with minimal sets and, and say like well you know I, I do like stage managing this is a great thing to put on my resume or or, or something like that so we have um, some brand new creative team members um, joining us for for this production which is really exciting 
Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, it's a great opportunity to get into it. So, are, are yeah. there, is this all set and ready to go? Or are you guys? When's this performance? Oh yeah, we're uh, we're rehearsing. Okay. Um, and next Friday and Saturday, the seventeenth and eighteenth, okay. um, at seven p.m. at Spectrum Theater. Um, tickets are available on our website, grct.org. I love 15 it. Fifteen to twenty-five dollars, depending okay. on your age. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's a totally affordable as well. Jesse, Josh, thank you for the time this morning. It's always exciting. You want to see what local playwrights are creating. Well, now is your chance to actually see it performed on stage at the 10 for All Playwriting Festival. From the Grand Rapids Civic Theater, May 17th and 18th at Spectrum Theater. You can get more at grct.org.